Yes, you can make delicious kamjitang or Korean pork bone soup at home. Like all soup, it begins with a good broth. Soak the pork bones in cold water. This is an important part of Korean cooking to remove the unwanted blood. Boil the bones furiously for five minutes until you see scum and fat bubble up. Drain and wash the bones in cold water, making sure to rub off all the unwanted bits of grime. Transfer back into a clean pot with onions, ginger, and bay leaves. Prepping the bones this way is the Korean way to achieve a deeply flavorful stock. Cook until the meat is tender and the broth looks milky and rich. Then remove the aromatics and add back potatoes, carrots, and kimchi for even more flavor. The star ingredients to a stellar kamjitang are perilla oil and ground perilla seeds. Making the extra effort to find these items will really make your kamjitang special. Add the seeds to a bowl with the three Korean changs, dingjang, fermented soybean paste, gochujang, fermented chili paste, and kanjang, or soy sauce, plus a slew of other ingredients that are listed in the recipe to make a flavorful, spicy paste that will thicken the stew and make everything addictively delicious. Mix well and add directly to the soup pot, cooking until the flavors come together. Now it's time to garnish. Add perilla leaves, green onions, black pepper, and a generous drizzle of perilla seed oil. And there you have it. Cozy, comforting, hearty, tantalizingly spicy, and delicious kamjitang. Enjoy.